What's up, world of YouTube? It's your glorious of glorious of glorious of hosts. Yes, I happen to be Martin, and this is Tekken More. Today, I got a special video for you guys. I'm going to show you how to upgrade your iPhone and turn it into filming level quality. And I'm going to show you how I do it. And, you know, you can take what you want from it and, you know, add it into your life. You might not get the same products as me or get them from the same place. But these are just some of the ideas to throw around in your brain so you can help with not only doing your YouTube or if you're out there doing professional stuff like photography, but you want to use your iPhone. This is the video for you. And oh, also, I finally got on one of my tees, the Anime Vibes t-shirt. If you want this and more, go ahead, hit up United Graphics Pro. Uh, I'll leave a link into the description for the website that I actually use to make these it's called Rage On. And I have a separate video, an older video that you can actually go and watch where I explain all of that and more. So let's get to the video. First, we're gonna start with juice because we're in the field, we're gonna need power. So this is the My Charge Adventure Rugged Battery Charger. It has, I think like a 15, 1600 milliamp battery. 16,000. It's very strong. I don't remember the middle app. I've had this for years and I actually have a dedicated video on my channel for this and it has two USB ports. It charges by micro USB and when I tell you you can get at least two charges out of this from a phone. Oh, and the carabiner. That's beautiful. Easy carrying around. And it also has a light indicator on it. Next, we got a tripod, which, oh, there we go. It's a, it's considered a mini tripod, but in actuality, it can adjust to a pretty standard, well, beyond standard level tripod. And I've used this one I got from Target for a while. I have one similar off of Amazon, but one of the legs is broken. I still have it. It's not completely broken, but just one of the... The bottom leg pieces are broken, but it's still usable. Um, it has a level on the side. Of course, it has adjustments for this part for height. Um, it has adjustments here for every angle that you can possibly think of to even need. And I recently just added this piece right here, which came with my selfie light, but I don't see myself using it because of the piece that it comes with standard. I mean, of course this is all standard, but one other piece that I'll show you in a minute with my other selfie light, cause I'm using one right now, but I'll show you uh, that you really don't need it, but it's just all a preference. But I started using this now because of the rotation of it and getting to that side angle for shots like that with pictures. Of course I can do that with this, but it's like, I'm kind of wasting my money if I don't use it and I can see myself utilizing it more with the tripod than I am with the selfie light, to be honest. And this just does, this is just extra angles right there. So if I use that and then I use this, it's like, bam. So, you know, that's just more angles. Then we have a selfie stick, which I also got from Target. It was on clearance. And this isn't the longest selfie stick, but it's it has a nice size to it. It also is very, very sturdy. It's very high quality metal. Uh, well, aluminum. And then we have that where we can, you know, if we want to jump in the water with the action cam, we definitely got that. And also a carabiner for being on your side pocket or hanging off your backpack. And I also have a backpack that I'm going to show later on in the video and stuff everything in. And these, I have plenty of these because I was at Ollie's. They had the entire selfie stick for a dollar. It was pink. So I just took these off and I just keep those. Then we have this tripod, which I don't know where I got the bottom piece from. I have no idea, but that's one of those Ollie's. Uh, phone holders again. This I actually use more in everyday use when I'm just propping my phone up, maybe in the kitchen or something, and using a tripod. But 
it does give you a lot of angles. Uh, it has different ways that you can set it up. Um, I use all kind of ways to set it up, uh, whether I'm in the bathroom for Snapchat, whether I'm using for filming, and even in the field when I'm vlogging, sometimes I'll just have it like this because it's like it's not too long and it's short, so I can go from here to here very quickly. So that's also a good thing. And lastly, the one that I use, I just recently used, uh, if you go and watch my Little Wayne video, uh Jordale actually used this to help me help film while we're in the mall. So you got two points of contact with keeping yourself sturdy with the phone. And it's just it's great for filming. I'm gonna use this a lot. You know, uh I got different things coming up, so I would definitely use this in like if I was filming a short film or something. Uh it also can adjust into a tripod also. So that is like double convenience and i know i use a lot of tripods in my bag but it's like you never know where you're gonna be at or the situation so it's always good to have different tripods for different surfaces different you know terrain and all that so this one's kind of universal and i really love this this came from five and below um I'm, i might actually buy two just to have you know if they ever stop you know making me five and below but it's great to have Next, we have lighting. Um, I don't use this too often, but like if I was vlogging and it was at night, I definitely go ahead and throw this on. I was using this at first before getting a selfie light. Um, this is a mini ring light. Uh, they have different people to make these, different companies, all that. I got this one at Walmart on clearance for a dollar. They range from anywhere from four to ten dollars for this same size. And this one will be chargeable with a micro USB. And it also has a button on the back where I can adjust the light. And I'll show you in a few minutes with a full setup of like my little small things. Next, next I got a bunch of lenses. Um, these all came from different places, or I think they did. Uh, these are like some Dollar Tree. One of these is from Dollar Tree. It's a micro lens. One's a macro. Let me start that up. Okay, next we got lenses. Uh, these, I think these came from Dollar Tree, actually. Uh, they were having these... This one came from Dollar Tree. They were selling these, and I said, let me get it. It's a macro lens. Why not? Um, then this one came from Family Dollar, and I can actually take this off and swap it out for a, what's this one? This is the macro, and this is the wide angle lens here. I also have a fish eye lens somewhere, but I lost it because it was like three and they all screw into each other. Oh, here it is. It's on this one. So this must be, this is the macro lens and this must be the fish eye lens. Yep. Yep. That's the fish eye lens. So yeah, that's dope. And I actually, when I bought it, I thought they cheated me out of a lens somehow. So yeah, I almost went back up to that store. But I didn't. I kept my cool. Next, for audio, I have this simple uh, microphone. I don't have it on right now, but most of my videos I have it on. And, of course, it has a headphone jack, and I have a 7 and a 10. So that didn't work, and I had to create this. I took a dongle. I took some uh, double-sided tape. I put it in the middle, went around it, got it all together, so it wouldn't just be flopping all over the place. And then it came to where my, it was sitting to the side and I didn't like it sometimes when I was filming. So I also have this, a split. So now I can put that there and then we got side action straight up. Or, you know, or if it is doing right that day on the back of the phone, bam. But I did a setup like this so I could record the um, the audio for a milli on the Wayne vlog better. Lastly, I got one of my little bags that I got from Target. Um, 
in size, not a whole lot. Of course, we need a charger. We have a micro USB charger. We have another battery charger, a smaller, slimmer, sleeker battery charger from uh, Five and Below. And then over here, uh, I have a charging brick, just you know, one just in case I'm at an outlet. And I have a micro SD, excuse me, I have a micro SD card for whatever reason. But so far, that's all I'm really keeping in the bag. And lastly, what I store everything in is this Case Logic backpack, which I got on sale at Walmart. Uh, this backpack usually valued at like $45, $50. And I paid like maybe $15 for it. Um, it has a nice set of compartments. Uh, we got this side compartment, which I usually throw a phone. Oh, there's a phone case in there with a camera. Uh, Usually got a tripod or a a selfie stick over here and over here. Then in the front, I keep some some cord wrap. Even though I don't keep a lot of cords in here, but I just try to keep them around. Then this front section, we have three separators which also can be flipped around and they can, uh, the flaps can be at the top. But this is where I put all my little gadgets and doodads in. Uh, they pretty much don't, don't flop around all over the place. And when I put the flaps at the bottom, it actually keeps them inside of their own compartments. Then at the top is where I keep some of the tripods and uh, that bag. So this is all, then it's got this little mesh pocket up here. And this right here, I can actually, move out of the way and then I'll be into the bottom of the bag so this is actually a decent sized bag it's not too big it's not too small and it houses everything I need for filming on the go so this is mostly what I vlog with and stuff uh pretty minimalist I don't really take a lot with me but it's mostly you know just added this for the for the filming all right and now I'm gonna show you guys a upgrade you know i'm gonna just throw a bunch of stuff on this iphone 6 plus that i usually you know help me film with and show you guys you know a, little, a nice little setup so we're just gonna use this tripod and bam i'm gonna throw that in there and i'm gonna grab a selfie light throw that right here or we can even put it here and we're gonna grab uh, microphone put that here and see with the microphone we could either go with the with the split or we don't even have to have the split and we can just put that right there but I prefer to use the split so raise that up a little bit and adjust to make it that way then, since this is a 6 Plus, we can easily throw, let's go with a bigger lens. We can easily throw a lens on there. Bam. Turn this light on. And we got a nice mini super setup. I know it's a lot on there, but it's going to make the filming quality a lot better. And then, we can go into filming on the go so yeah we got a lot on there we got microphone we got light and we got a uh, upgraded lens so you know that's that's what it's gonna look like you know behind the scenes but when the finished product comes out it's gonna look you know better than what it would have been with just straight camera Okay, and lastly, just to kind of give you guys a small review, uh, I'm using a ring light right now as we speak on the 7 Plus. So I bought two during Black Friday because they were $20 a piece for a 12 inch selfie light. And this is the attachment I usually keep on mine, but they come with these, as I said, 
but I prefer to just use this because you can get a lot more angles with this. And this even adjusts to a phone with an outer box on it. So, like, uh, uh, you don't have to really take your cases off most. Although this is a waterproof case, it's pretty, pretty small. But I'll grab an outer box that doesn't have a phone in it and still, it holds it very nice. Most holders don't, just like this one right here. It doesn't hold with an outer box. You gotta take your case off. So this is actually really good to have. Um, the light adjustment, you can't see the controller right now because it's, it's in the wall, but it's got a remote to it from this cord right here. So you can go turn on, you can adjust the uh, brightness from the remote. I wish it was a wireless remote. Uh, you can even cycle through different lights. And so since my, I think the, um, the one chip challenge video, uh, go check that out. Also, I've been using my selfie lights. I bought two, not only just to have backup, but also they were $20 and these things are usually like 40. But also when I'm doing photo shoots now, I can have better lighting and it wasn't, it won't take as much to edit photos anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely glad I bought these. I'm not disappointed in buying them at all. And I recommend you get some also. Sadly, won't get the Black Friday price, but these are definitely a must-have when filming at home. Or anywhere, really. Well, I wouldn't take these in the field, but filming at home, these are definitely it. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. I have been Martin, and this is Tech and More. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell so you can get notifications on all my videos. I know I didn't hit my two video mark this week, but I've been super busy. So I'm barely getting this one in on my off day. So you're welcome. And there'll be more videos to come also. Uh, make sure I'm going to, I'm just going to start posting like screenshots of my Instagram and Snapchat because I don't keep forgetting, but I kind of got it on the brain today. But go ahead and follow me at underscore tech and more on instagram and vans underscore 1000 on snapchat and i post a lot more on snapchat than i do on any of my social medias but definitely follow your boy on all platforms uh also once again plug the t-shirt lines uh united graphics pro you can either follow the instagram or you can just go straight to the Ray John shop, buy the shirts and follow me so you can be updated when I do make more, which will be coming soon. I think I'm gonna stick with this vibe line. I'm really liking it. Uh, I got some good reviews on this. Um, but yeah, this has been taking more. Peace.